Hey guys, today's tutorial is about how to create a frame from any shape inside Affinity Designer version 2, as you can see right here in those three examples. And to start, we need a new clean canvas. And first of all, we need a shape we want to start with. So we want to create a frame out of. So we can start with a circle by going to the lips tool right here, holding down shift for perfect proportions. So we get a circle. And the next step is to go to um, color right here and make sure that the filling is on top and click right here to make the filling transparent. And now we need to go right here and click on this little um, yeah, circle with a circle cut out in the middle, which means the stroke color. We can go to swatches and we can choose white, for example. Then we can go to stroke and we can adjust the stroke like we want to, um, like we want the frame to look like, for example, 7PT and the caps are not necessary in this case. For the join, also not necessary in this case, we can use the metre join and adjust the metre and align to the inside um, is what I think looks best. And the next step is to go to a layer right here to click on expand stroke and that way we are creating a curve out of this stroke so now we don't have the circle with the filling transparent and the stroke colored we now have a um, curve which is just the stroke so just our frame we can see this by checking with the node tool right here we see we have two nodes for the outside and for the inside and our whole object and curve is now this frame and one useful tip right here is, for example, we're creating this circle inside, making it um, black. And let's um, assume that this is our picture we want to create the frame for. Then a helpful trick is to uh, resize by using Shift and Command. By holding Shift and Command or Control and Shift, for Windows users, we resize from the middle of our um, uh, um, our point where we um, where we snapped our object to. So now that way we can make it bigger to the outside or to the inside, uh, and keeping um, the same um, distance between the uh, inner object, our picture, or something else. And we can do this with any other object in Affinity Designer. For example, the triangle right here. Again, create a triangle make the filling um, transparent, choose a color for the stroke, adjust the stroke and then go with layer and expand stroke. And there are some things to keep in mind. So for some of um, those shapes inside Affinity Designer, you can't simply um, resize like we did right here. Sometimes you need to adjust manually. For example, for the triangle, if we now duplicate with command and J and move inside wait with um, command and shift we see we are not exactly in the middle right here so we need to move it manually and for example also give it a, a filling so we want this to be a picture or something like else so to represent a picture and we can now move it like this and for some other objects which are not perfect proportions. So for example, a rectangle right here, um, we need to adjust manually also the nodes. So in this case, we have our rectangle making it a little bit smaller. So like this, for example, and we want to create a shape, a frame out of this shape, we are duplicating again, then again, giving the stroke a color adjusting, making bigger and you're already seeing that because we have not perfect proportions right here, um, it's wider right here and right here than uh, on the top and the bottom. So we can um, fix this by going again to layer and expand stroke and now going with the node tool and simply selecting those nodes, holding down shift and moving to the uh, inside and also with those. So we have the same distance and we can now adjust with the snapping to the middle and we have created a shape out of this, um, a frame out of this shape. And yeah, that's going to do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video.
Goodbye.